Hallelujah. How many of you are happy to be in the presence of God this morning? If you're happy, I want you to lift up your hands and worship the King of Kings. Tell him he is worthy of all our praises. Worship the one who sits upon the throne and makes the heart as footstool. Praise him this morning from the depth of your heart. Tell him how grateful you are. Tell him how grateful you are. Tell him how grateful you are. If you're grateful, lift up your voice this morning and worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Hallelujah.
Lord, you are so good. You're exalted, you're the Lord most high. You are so good. Show it with your dance. I'll pray. You are so, so good. Oh, Lord, you are so good. Hey, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, Lord, you are so good. Hey, you're exalted. You're the Lord most star. You are so good. God, you are so good. You are worthy of honor and praise. God, you are so good. We know it's all that God, the Lord most high. I eba pray, pray, pray. I eba pray, pray, pray. I eba pray, pray, pray. I am a prayer, prayer, prayer. I am a prayer, prayer, Oh, 
overflows, joy overflows my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord, joy overflows. Sing a new song, praise overflows. praise him. If you know how to praise God, you must know how to thank him. If you do the two together, you must see signs and wonder of who God is. Brethren, I want to read from Psalm 147 verse 7. He says, Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. I want every one of us to be on our feet because today is our annual thanksgiving. And no one can say that God has not done anything for him or her. 
God has done great things for me especially. And I know he has done great things for you too. Therefore, we have to appreciate him. We have to reference him. We have to thank him for what he has done. For sin today is not by your power, but it is by his grace that you are alive. If you look back since you were born on to this hour, you will see that a lot of people have gone. A lot of things has happened, but God has preserved you. You have to thank him for what he is, for who he is, and for who he was. Brethren, I want you to sing along with me this morning. If you have that heart of gratitude unto him, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in my life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, you are of my soul, Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be in our generation, there is no one like you. Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. I'll follow Omega, you are worthy to be praised. There is no one like you, Alpha Omega. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my God. Worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my God. You are worthy Jehovah Jireh You are worthy Father we thank you for what you are We appreciate what you have done for us As a family, as a church we are here today to thank you for what you have been doing in our lives. We give you all glory, we give you all adoration. For what you have done so far, Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, today, let there be miracles and wonder in the life of your people. So that they can thank you more and more in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. He won the colo go yeah Ah he won the colo go yeah Oh Mighty warrior Revelation He won the colo go yeah Father we really know that you are for us. The enemy always encamp us. But you fight our battle for us all year round. That is why we are thanking you this morning. That you are there for us all the time. You are fighting our battle for us. 
through your grace, we are marching forward. Father, we thank you for all you have done so far. Let your name alone be glorified in our lives. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Hallelujah. 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 Finally, Father, as we are going to do this service, Father, go along with us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we have come here to seek your face, don't let us go back to our homes. Oh, Father, in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. All those who have come here with heavy, heavy hearts, Father, fill them with your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Let me sit it. Uh, we want to tell everyone here, especially our parents, that your children will sit by you this morning. Every one of us will be up here. Uh, but we want you to keep an eye on them. So that they don't run about the church. We want a decorum, please. Usher, look out. Make sure everybody is seated. And God bless you. The next is announcement. I'm uh, sorry. We are going to continue to worship the Lord. In, his, in the reading, and the reading of today comes from the book of Psalm, Psalm 111, and we are reading from verse 1 to 10. If you are there, say amen with me. Psalm 11 begins. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart. In the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endure forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembered his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever. Enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He has provided 
redemption for his people. He ordained covenants forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precept have good understanding. To him belong internal praise. May the Lord add his blessing to this reading. Amen. Now you can hear the announcement. Good morning. We we'll welcome everyone to CAC Vineyard of Comfort and to our annual Thanksgiving service. And we pray that you all will be blessed by the end of today's service. At the commencement of the service, we implore everyone to switch off their cell phones to avoid distractions. Roaming about during the service is disrespectful to God. Our God should be honored always. It is against the policy of the authorities of CAC for anyone or group of people to see vision and relate directly to any individual, families, or groups. If there's any vision or revelation pertaining to anyone, service group, or family, the assembly pastor should be consulted. It is equally against the policy of CAC for any minister in the church to hold vigil in members' private home or special prayer meeting without the consent and approval of the assembly pastor. Tithes and offering is God's commandment. Let's all endeavor to pay it correctly, and as we do so, God's blessing shall be unleashed on us in the precious name of Jesus. The church environment should be kept clean always. This includes our various washrooms and the sanctuary. Praise the Lord, Destiny Recovery, a power-packed miracle and healing provoking program comes up every last Wednesday of the month through to Friday night, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. and Friday night, 10 p.m. Every first Sunday of the month is our anointing and praise service. Everyone is encouraged to come with a bottle of oil, for this is a kingdom mystery that discerns the devil, his works, and his emissaries. Please, if you plan to use the pastor as your character reference, endeavor to let the church secretary know ahead of time. If you're worshiping with us today for the first time, kindly stand so we could welcome you into the house of God. Do we have anyone worshiping with us for the first time today? Church, please give them a warm welcome. It is our joy to have you in our midst today, and we hope to see you again. Feel free to join any of our service, and we promise to make you feel right at home. Our ushers would be with you shortly with our welcome package. Once again, we say welcome. We implore every member of the church to write their names, amount, purpose, and date at the back of the offering envelope when making donations, as this is very vital to keeping our books in good standing. We're reminding all church members that bringing or serving food in the church building is no longer allowed. Keeping to this instruction would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Upcoming events. Praise the Lord, today is our annual Thanksgiving service for 2018. It is going to be a praise galore all the way unto our God for keeping us all through 2017. Please get ready. If you're yet to remit your building vow, would like to crave your indulgence to so please see Evangelist Mrs. Shuruye or Dikin Body with your vow in cash or checks. Please do not drop them in the offering basket to avoid mix-up. We're needing volunteers in the following service group. The transportation, protocol, parking lot attendants, sanctuary keeping, and children department. So if you wish to join any of the service group, please see Evangelist Adekule Oni, the church secretary. Christ Apostolic Church Watch Word for 2018 is taken from Psalms 80 verses 19. Again, Psalm 80 verses 19. 
And so church, I'd like you to repeat after me. Restore us, O Lord of hosts. Cause your face to shine and we shall be saved. I'd like us to take it again. And it goes, restore us, O Lord of hosts. Cause your face to shine and we shall be saved. This shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. We'd like to thank you all for being part of today's wonderful service. And we'll pray that the blessings of today's service shall abound to us all in the name of Jesus. Once again, we'll say thank you and do have a praise-filled week. Now, please put your hands together as we welcome the ministry of our choir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. This, this morning the choir have a praise melody, uh, African praise melody, so be blessed as we sing. Searching for a miracle, and I found no one. I found no one, nobody like you. I've been to many places, searching for a better life. 
And I found no one. I found no one. No one. Nobody like you. Nobody. Jesus, somebody, hail my Jesus. Hail my Jesus. Come on now, hail, 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 hail. Listen, I've been around the world Searching for a miracle And I found no one I found no one Nobody like you, Lord I've been to many places I was looking for a better life And I found no one, no Nobody like you. Okay, hey, my Jesus. Somebody help my Jesus. Hey, hey, Come on up. Help, help, help my Jesus. Hey, 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 Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things he has done. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things he has done. Hey, thank you, Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things He has done. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things He has done. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, see. For the Lord I got be on my teeth. Hallelujah for the Lord I got be on my teeth. I say hallelujah for the Lord my God be on my teeth. Hallelujah for the Lord I got be on my Somebody sing hallelujah. hallelujah Somebody wave your hand and say, Come on, church, come on. Hallelujah. Come on now. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand.
voice say I worship you oh, oh, my God you ready to say God you ready my God ready my God ready God you ready hey. I worship I worship you Ooh, I worship you I worship you Give him the praise. Give 
give him the praise that you are still alive. Give him the praise. Another man is not taking over your seat. Give him the praise. Your children has not become another man's children. Your job didn't become another man's job. Your wife, your husband has not become another man's spouse. Give him the praise. Lift up your two hands and worship him. God is faithful. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name we have given thanks. And I hear you shout a better amen. amen. If I were you, I will make sure my amen is more anointed, more powerful, more wonderful, more beautiful than my neighbor. Somebody shout a better amen. Amen. I'd like to invite some of our ministers, some of our members, in just 30, 30 seconds. I know you are gifted in the area of singing song, but don't worry to sing song today. Our choir has led us. Me too, I'm not singing today. <laughs> Sit down. Come on, Wala.
And he wants us as his people to call a lot of people into the church. For many are outside the church and they are suffering. We know them. We should call them in. And he's also asking us a question. He said, are you ready to work for me? Many of us are not ready to work for God. And he asks again that, I've blessed so many of you, but majority of you do not give me your time and money. I've descended new power and new into your midst. And I want you to worship me genuinely. I've also descended into your midst, into the church, blessings. But if you are ready to work for me, you will experience more blessing. Peace unto you. Put your hands together, church. For the manifestation of his presence, put your hands together. Do it better, better. If you know anyone under satanic affliction, invite them to come. They are religion notwithstanding. Tell them to come so that God will intervene into their life. There will be a change in their situation. Now let me tell you this, and this is also this is a confirmation. The Lord said to me that some of you is going to take your job from you and give it to a worthy neighbor. And I said, God, why? He said, because you are not faithful to him in his tithe, in his, your tithe. One of my daughters, she's here, she's looking at me, and one of my son, who is an instrumentalist, the guy called me very early in the morning and he said, the Lord appeared to him. The Lord gave him a definite instruction. You cannot eat what belongs to God. And this will be the second time the prophecy is coming out. That daughter of mine saw the hand of God in her dream warning her. I was so excited because she had to start paying it, even the arrears. I pray God will not take your job from you. If I were you, I would shout a better amen. And that's a confirmation again. So please, beloved, put that in your mind. The Lord says his power is new here. And he has blessed all the mother of nations, waiting mothers, he has given them their babies. Put your hands together and give it to Jesus. I see keys and us this morning. Bunch of keys, not just one key, bunches, bunches, bunches in various parks. If you are... The owner of one of them. Lift up your right hand and shout hallelujah. So let me quickly invite just for 30, 30 seconds. Evangelist Abraham show you here. Please come. You will thank God for this church and for CAC worldwide. Just within 30 seconds. You will thank God for all the men. None of our men died emergencically. Permit me to use that English. All through the year, and as big as this church is, no man died. You think it's our prayer? Excuse me, man. You think it's our prayer? You think it's our making? And the devil tried. In fact, the man that I'm calling now slumped, almost died. If not for God. Elder, please come out. Come out. Just for 30 seconds. If not for God. Slumped? He wrote his testimony. I read it here. I didn't just mention his name. If not for God. My dear sister, you didn't become an emergency widow. Oh, my husband is not good. My husband is not good. Ah, you still have somebody warming your bed. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> Evangelist Bridget in Begba, you will thank God for all the women. For all the women. Just within 30 seconds. Evangelist Mommy Pastor, you will thank God for all our children. None of our children died. In the children's church. Ah, is his power. Wave your hands and say thank you, Jesus. For a whole year. Kaba was a leader. Chiamaka, the youth president, where are you? You will thank God for all our young adults. Just within 30 seconds. Please quickly come out. 
Dickiness to in Akiremi for all our church workers. Our church workers traveled and they came back safely. Ah, it is God, sir. Our church workers will be standing outside in the snow. They didn't slump. It is God. No accident whatsoever. For all the ministers in CSC Vine of Comfort worldwide, evangelists, prophets, Olaya Meraji. Please hurry up. For all our pregnant women and all mothers of nations, the pregnant women will go to hospital when and they deliver. When and they come back home. Mothers of nations, 10 years is here now. That's conceived. Just conceive just like that. Ah, it is his grace. Hallelujah. Dickiness, Mama Yami Boye, please come. For all our pregnant women, they deliver with ease throughout last year. Some of them are pregnant. How many of you remember the prophecy that the Lord gave here yeah, that somebody is here who got pregnant and she's SSS? We should pray against complications. How many of you remember that prophecy? She's here now, she's about to deliver. And she's doing very fine. Somebody I never knew was SSS. The husband. That is God. That's God. That could only be God. One of our members again, during the 21 days, the Lord said one of them is due for March. And she came. God keep revealing secrets to avert problem. To avert danger. He's a faithful God. Just too faithful. And then, Evangelist Kunle Oni, you the only pastor that you are about to transfer to Brandon. The church secretary, you will come. Thank God for this nation, Canada. Clap those hands together. Give it to Jesus. Now, if not for the peace that we are enjoying in this country, many of us would have... You understand what I mean? So within 30, 30 seconds, just go straight. Don't bother to sing. Don't bother to recite. The conglomerate of God. I hear, I hear about, I hear about the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. We know all those conglomerates. Just go straight and just help us. Thank God, Baba, for see. Okay, thank you. Give them the mic. For CAC Vineyard of Comfort worldwide, Baba. For the peace, the grace of God, His joy, His ever abiding presence, in spite of the various attack of the devil. The church keep waxing strong in the midst of steep persecution. It can only be God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Give Lord. him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. thank you, Lord. Our King of Glory, we want to thank you. Almighty Father, we want to give glory to you. On behalf of the CAC worldwide, you have not allowed the gate of hell to prevail on this church. You have handled the affairs of the church with your Holy Spirit, with your wisdom, Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Savior want to thank you on behalf of the head of the CAC worldwide. You have not made Satan to take them. Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for our Father in the Lord, Pa S.K. Abiara, for upholding him for making him to retire well. Father, Lord, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Savior, for all the churches that belong to CAC, you put fire on their altar and you make it to work stronger and the fire does never come down. Father, Lord, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O Lord, for this particular church, CAC of Comfort, Winnipeg, for upholding your church. There are all the things that Satan has said even want to do. But you do not allow the, 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 the wish of the wicked to prevail on this church. Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Savior, we thank you because your church is waxing stronger. Accept our thanks in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you, sir. Elder Kualike, thank God for all our men in our church here for his divine protection Nobody got sick all through last year. And even those that got sick, recovered. It is God. There are some that go on sick bed and they die just like that. It can only be God. God bless you, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you. 
Heavenly Father, we call upon you this morning Hello, to Sweden. lay your, your hands on all the men of this church you now at CAC Worldwide because without you, mm -hmm. we're nothing. Mm -hmm. Like as we go about our daily doings, you know, uh, going out, protect us, uh, Amen. coming in, protect us. Amen. All the satanic forces you know, that tried to take the lives of all the men in 2017, but mm -hmm. it didn't succeed. Mm -hmm. Yet 2018 is upon us. Heavenly Father, they will not succeed this year in the name Amen. of Jesus. Lord. They will not succeed this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the Lord. morning, let us find favor. Amen. In the afternoon, let us find favor. Amen. In the evening, let us find favor. Amen. Like as a man of this church, CSC, Vianna Comfort, Winnipeg Chapter, as the women are growing bigger than Jesus. us, we pray this year the men we're going to catch up with the women in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you. God Almighty, we praise your name. Continue hear a prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My God, Elder is a very wise man. Just chip in that one. The men we catch up with the women. I pray, amen, too. For all our women, Mama Bridget, that's our wonderful woman leader, very loyal. And very straightforward. God bless you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning. We want to give you praise because of who you are. For your Jesus. kindness. For your marvelous love. For your protection over the women who want to praise you. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for finding, Lord God, perfection in your word that say, I and my children we are for signs and wonder. Mm. Thank you for the signs and wonder in the life of the women thank in the you, mighty Jesus. name of Jesus, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Hallelujah. God, for your loving kindness, Hallelujah. for your faithfulness, Lord God. Hallelujah. You did not allow us to stand and say, sorry, Lord God, or visited the women for the loss of a woman mm. or for the loss of their children, Lord God. But you prove yourself, Lord God, as a God that is able, Lord God, to so upkeep us, Lord God. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for what you have been doing and what you are doing and what you will do, Lord God. Mm. Father God, if we say one Thank to say Jesus. thanks, Lord God, mm. our mouths are too small. Oh, but with yes, great Lord. humble hearts, Lord God, we say thank you, Jesus, Thank Lord you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that as you have brought us this far, Lord God, you will take us through 2018, Lord God, with your loving Jesus. hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that your lordship over our head will receive blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that your lordship over our head will receive favor in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. The Lordship of our head will receive blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We march on, Lord God, to so a greater height, Lord God, Amen. as women in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Amen. You are God of signs and wonder, yes. a God that surprises. Yes. Surprise us with your goodness this yes. year as you have been doing in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Amen. Father God, we pray that no harm will befall us in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Lord God. Wrap your hand of love around us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord God, for the men, for the women, for the children, Lord God, for the yes, the unborn, Lord God. Mm. And we thank you, Lord God, for our pastor and the mm. minister, Lord God. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We worship you this morning and say, be thou glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my pastor, you help us thank God for all our children. In our children's church, they go to school, they come back safely. Their parents are not always at home. Sometimes in the middle of the night when there's no, no one there with them, God is always protecting them, not allowing those satanic monsters to strike them dead. Please help us give God praise. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That we thank you, Lord. We exalt all in him. We thank you for our children. We thank you for your protection over their lives. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you are doing in our midst. Thank it's you, Jesus. It's one year that we started in just class. That we will thank you. For what we are doing in our midst, we give all the glory. For the word of God that is having impact in their lives, that we will appreciate our name, O Lord. Thank you, so Jesus. So give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endure it all to all our children. Thank hmm. you for the journey, mercies, O Lord. Hmm. They have been going to school. They have been coming back. We have no cause or any, anything that makes us to cry over our lives, O Lord. We have been their shield, O Lord. We have been their potato. We have been there for them, O Lord. That we give all the glory. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, O Lord, for everything, Lord. Thank you because the children are the heritage of the Lord, O Lord. 
Thank you for the heritage you are giving unto us, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because this heritage shall bring up forth goodness for us. Mm -hmm. They shall bring take our name to greater height, O Lord. Mm -hmm. We appreciate our name, Lord. Hallelujah. That we thank you for we teachers, O Lord. That the way we started in this class, O Lord. There was so many things that happened, O Lord. But thank God because we don't have any cause to regret that we started the class, O Lord. We give you all the glory, O Lord. Thank you, Thank you for all the ninjas class, all the ninjas teachers, all the teachers that are walking downstairs, O Lord. Thank you because, because in our time, we don't have any cause to, to, tell, to say that any one of the children died, O Lord. We Thank give you all the Jesus. glory for your protection of our, of our lives, O Lord. Thank you, For Jesus. your protection of our we teachers too, Lord. Thank you, Thank you because the plan of the enemy concerning us not come to pass, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The wage war, Lord, to stop the teenagers' class, but you don't allow it, O Lord. Thank we you, give all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for where you are taking our children to, Lord. Thank, Thank you for Jesus. the greater height, O Lord. Thank you for the, where you are taking them to, Lord. Thank you for the greater place you have prepared for them, O Lord. Thank you for the name that you are protecting upon their lives, O Lord. Hallelujah. Let your name be glorified, O Lord. We give all the glory, Lord. Thank we give you, all Jesus. the adoration. We give you all the honor, Lord. Thank you for all the coordinators, O Lord. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. Chiamaka, the youth president, you will thank God for all our young adults for the exploit we made throughout last year, for the souls being won into that department. And for the new vision God has given to us this year to go start a fellowship in University of Manitoba. I'm going to announce that officially. We're starting this young adult fellowship in University of Manitoba. Manitoba. We're reaching out to them over there. So go ahead and thank God for us, my dear. Eternal Rock of Ages, I stand here with humble adoration as a representative of the young adults group of CAC Vineyard of Comfort. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all you have done and all that you thank continue you, to do. Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, you. you have been our rock. Yes. You have been our strength. Yes. And you have blessed us abundantly yes. with wisdom, knowledge, and above all, understanding. Yes. And that we are thankful. Thank you, Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords. Thank you, Jesus. I ask that you continue to renew our strength. Yes. Meet us at the point of us at the point of our needs. Amen. Arrest us, Lord, Amen. that we will continue to do your will in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we form the group in the U of M, Lord, help us reach more people in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Present us in a way that when people see us, they will see you in us. In the name of Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, I worship you. Thank you. I give you all the glory for in Christ's name I have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Dickness Akremi, please come over. Help us thank God for all our church workers, for his protection. I have seen churches where their church workers were ministering, Sunday school teachers, an arrow hit them and they slumped. A man was, in the, I, I happened to be an interpreter of Prophet Abiyana. I interpreted for him for over 10 years on the TV. A man was assigned to go and interview for Baba. The arrow fired at Baba, couldn't eat him, eat him. The man, and he stood like this. <laughs> they had to carry him from the altar. None of our workers got attacked. They came to attack, but God never allowed the attack to overwhelm them. Our choirs will sing here, they will come down from the altar. None of them got paralyzed on the altar. Ah, we need to be thankful to God. Please, church, close your eyes. I want you to say a beautiful amen. Hallelujah. We are here to thank God for all to, that God did for us in 2017. There's no automatic blessing anywhere. It's a function of God's grace. Amen. Go ahead, man. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. Lord God of heaven, we thank you, Lord God, for your protection over the church, church workers of CAC Vineyard of Comfort, Winnipeg. I, Lord and my God, we thank you, Lord God, for your divine protection. We thank you, Lord God, that you did not allow the enemy to strike us. Thank Father you, God, Jesus. we thank you, Lord God, for your protection over us. Thank the you, plan Jesus. of the enemy will never overwhelm us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God of heaven, we thank you, Lord God, that you did not permit the error of the enemy yes. again to hit us. Thank you, thank you Jehovah, Lord God. For every work of this church, oh Lord God, we glorify thank your holy Jesus. name. Jesus. We thank, thank you, we Jesus. give you praise, we give you adoration. Hallelujah. For the Sunday school department, we worship you. Thank For you, the choir, we magnify 
glorify your holy Thank name. You, for Jesus. the sanctuary keepers, we bless you. Thank for the church Jesus. workers in every Hallelujah. department, for the children, yeah. for the youth, Thank for the you, ministers, oh Lord God. Lord God of heaven, we glorify we your holy celebrate name. You, we thank Lord. you, Lord God, for our ushers, for the greeters, oh Lord mm. God, for those who the parking lot attendants we magnify you, your Jesus. holy name. Those that, that do not remember she, now, Lord God, you she, know them. For she, our church workers, she, my Lord and my God, we glorify she, your holy name. Thank All we just want to say today is we, we are appreciate you. We Hallelujah. say thank you, Father. Be that glorified in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You help us thank God for all our pregnant women and all our mothers of nations because we know this year is their year. God will answer them. Their wombs will be opened in the name of Jesus. Thank God for the safe delivery and for the grace in the labor room. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We just thank you. We worship you. Mm. We glorify you because you are God. Because of who you are, who Heavenly Father, you have shown yourself over and over that you are God that is worthy to be praised over our mothers of nature. Oh, Lord, even when the enemy tried, but you always reveal the, uh, the devices of yes. the enemy to thank us, you, oh Lord, Jesus. and you always she, conquer for, she, for us. She, we just she, thank she, you, because it's not by power, it's not by thank might, you. it's thank because you. of your spirit, thank oh Lord. You. Lord, thank Heavenly you. Father, we thank you because of what you are doing right now, and what you're going to do, oh Lord. You have assured us again that you are at work. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just worship you over this uh, these women, oh Lord, because those people who are pregnant, they had their pregnancy and delivered, mm. just like the Hebrew women. Mm. Oh Lord God, this is your well doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We say thank you. All we want to say is thank you. Thank to you, give Jesus. you all glory, all honor, all adoration, mm. because no man should share your glory. We give all that glory Hallelujah. to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Evangelist Kuleone, Help us thank God for, no, no, before the nations, that should be the last one. Pro, uh, Prophet Raji, thank God for all the ministers in this church and all our ministers in Christ Apostolic Church Viad of Comfort Worldwide. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, when the foundation is destroyed, what can a righteous do? do Heavenly Father, the oracles of God, the ministers which you have raised, O oh Lord, to bless the people, oh, we thank you, God, for their life. Thank you, we thank you for the life of their families. Father, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. For the ministers, in CAC, Vineyard of Comfort, Winnipeg, for the ministers all over the world. Father, we thank you. For this man of God, you have raised to decrease the population of hell. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Even when the enemy comes once, they flee in seven ways. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor for keeping your church together. Father, we thank you. If all our ears were all tongues, there would never be enough to worship you. There would never be enough to praise you for these ministers. Lord, accept our thanks and praise. Amen. Lord, I pray that your anointing shall never run dry on these ministers in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I also pray that you will continually renew the anointing in them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we praise. Amen. God bless you, sir. Evangelist Kuleone, you help us thank God for Canada as a nation. And thank God for all the nations that all the people of God came from. Some of us are from Syria alone. Some of us are from Ghana. Some of us are from Nigeria. Some of us are from Gan I mean, uh, Ghana. Some are from Zambia and Kenya. Some are from um, Jamaica. So please help us thank God for the nation Canada and for all the various nations of the world. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Father Lord, we just want to thank you this morning. We want to praise your name, O oh Lord. We want to thank you for this great nation called Canada. We thank you for this great nation has been a blessing to almost everybody in the whole world. We thank you for giving the leaders of this nation the wisdom, the knowledge, and the ability to run the affairs of this country. We thank you for the political leaders. We thank you for the economic leaders. We thank you for the spiritual leaders. You, Accept Jesus. our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for every individual represented in this nation. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for the blessings over their lives. Every country that is represented in this nation. We thank you for all these countries. We thank you for everybody that has come from different nations all over the world. Because we know that this great nation is, is, is a country of all immigrants. We give you glory. We give you adoration. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for 2017 over thank this nation. Jesus. We thank you for you did not allow the, the terrorism to take over this country. Oh. We thank you for you have preserved thank every you, single Jesus. individual in this nation over, over, over terrorism in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for you have kept everybody safe. We thank you for you have allowed this nation, Canada, that has been a, an epitome and a symbol of peace to the whole world. We thank you for you continue to allow this to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we put 2018 in your hands. This nation is in your hand. Father, continue to direct the affairs of this nation Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We stop every power of terrorism. Every act, act of terrorism, we counter them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Continue to bless the spiritual leaders. Continue to strengthen the economic leaders. Continue to strengthen the political leaders. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, at the end of 2018, mm. let us have every privilege, every, every eventry, to come back here in 2019 and thank you for 2018. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bow down your heads and let every one of us recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who Ever. Amen. Please put your hands together for those wonderful men of God and women of God. Celebrate Jesus and clap some more. Say to your neighbor, 2018 is my year of laughter. Say to your neighbor very well, my year of celebration. This year, neighbor, you will celebrate with me. And let the people of God say beautiful amen. The Lord we honor you in Jesus precious name. Now I shared with you and thank God you know God reiterated it again in that prophecy. I started with you on how to have a covenant relationship with God some few weeks ago in January. Most especially from the first Sunday in January that we need to develop a covenant relationship with God this year. Your relationship with God needs to step up and I shared with you on how to do that and some of the boosters, kingdom boosters and which is obedience. That's number one. Number two, service. And God said it again that we should obey him this year. And he said we should try and serve him with our time and with our money. Is somebody hearing me? Service. And I also shared with you last week Sunday on sacrifice. There's no way you want to achieve your goal that there will be no need for you to sacrifice. Most of us that are here doing fine in your various field of endeavors, what you have achieved in life is a function of God's grace and a function of sacrifice. Paul said, do not frustrate the grace of God upon your life. So there's a tendency for the grace of God to be frustrated if you are not ready to sacrifice. If you carry grace upon your head and you are not ready to work hard, you won't get to anywhere. Is somebody hearing me? It is not grace that will come and write the exam for you. You are the one that will read and study. Born midnight can do. When you walk, that is when grace will speak. Am I talking to somebody? If you are not ready to walk and you are saying you want to, you are again, grace, grace, anointing oil, um, holy water, I carry all of it in my room. It won't work for you this year. 
If you are a lazy man, you won't eat. The Bible says a lazy man shall not eat. That's what the Bible says. Am I talking to somebody? And so when grace is on your head, there's the need for you to do what you are supposed to do. And so one of the things you are supposed to do in order to boost your relationship with God this year is to sacrifice. And I shared with you last week what sacrifice means. Sacrifice is giving out what pains you, what is so precious to you. I also told you that sacrifice is when you forfeit your convenience. Forfeiting your convenience in order to enjoy the achievement or the attainment of your goal. And I also shared with you that sacrifice is when, listen to me, sacrifice is when you give your heart to Christ for the furtherance of his gospel. That's sacrifice. Sacrifice is also when you, when you crucify yourself and you become dead to worldliness. You become dead to the things of the world. You no longer dress the way people dress in the world. You no longer talk the same way people talk in the world. The worldly slang is no longer found in your mouth. Is somebody hearing me? Where people go to, the worldly people, where they go to, your leg will not be found there. That's what we call sacrifice. You, have, you are now dead to the things of the world. And so I shared with you, I know, you know, I'm going to continue now this morning within a few minutes. What are the areas of our life that we need to sacrifice? I'll cite the scriptures, I'll read them. And if time does not permit you, go home and get them done. Get them read. Praise God. What areas of our lives do we need to sacrifice in order to enjoy a good relationship with God this year? And number one, the Bible says, tells us in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I'm concluding that teaching series now. So, please, let's go ahead. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. The Bible says we should offer our body. Please put it on the screen. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Paul said, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. And so, there's the need for us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. A sacrifice that is living. Now, what makes up the body? The eye, your two eyeballs, your nose, your mouth, your hand, your leg, your private part. Everything that makes up your body is expected to be given to God as an offering. That's what the Bible is saying. Give it to God as an offering. Whatever you give to God as an offering no longer belongs to you. Those that are in the world, look up everybody. When they go put sacrifice at the T-junction... The witch doctor will tell them, don't look, don't look back. Hello? If you look back, that sacrifice will not be acceptable. And so what does that mean? It means you have given it to the devil. You don't need to re-examine it again. And so what are we saying? When you offer your body as a living sacrifice, that means you've offered every part of your body to God without questioning God on how he's going to use it. God owns your hand, God owns your eyes, God owns your nose, he owns your mouth, he owns your leg. They are no longer yours. And so you are not expected to look at anything, anyhow, apart from godly things. Is somebody hearing me? You need to be very careful on what you watch. Watching pornography, that means you are here to offer your eyes as sacrifice, your body as sacrifice. Looking for erotic movies on the Facebook and, you know, on the internet, your eyes is yet to be offered as a sacrifice. Offered your mouth. Stop saying what will defy your mouth or your body. Jesus said what comes in is not what defies, but what goes out of our mouth. And by your words, the Bible says you shall be condemned. And by your words, you shall be justified. Be very careful. Stop saying negative things that will defy your body. Your mouth now belongs to God. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Your hands belong to God. Be very careful of what you use your hand to do in 2018. You are no longer the owner of that hand. Or fight unto God. Be very careful on how you use your leg. Where do you go to? That is contrary to the will of God for your life. All this needs to be in check. Is somebody hearing me? So we need to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice unto God. Let me read this. Eugene Peterson, Peterson said something. I'd like to read it to your ear. He said, take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, your eating, going to work, and place it, place it before God as an offering. That is the simple meaning of offering your bodies as a living sacrifice. Number two, how, what are the things I need to sacrifice? In order to engage God in a more meaningful relationship this year, you need to engage yourself in fasting. When you fast, you are sacrificing your body of food. 
you are denying your body of food. Now listen to me. How does this help your relationship with God? It helps your relationship with God in the sense that it enlarges your spiritual capacity. It enlarges your... Now, from my experience, I have come to realize that when I fast, that is when I receive more from God. Fasting is good, but let me give you another very better idea. It's much more better to live a fasted life. Uh, what do I mean by saying a fasted life? Now, many of you here don't usually eat breakfast. Why don't you consciously surrender that breakfast to God? I know medical doctors tell us, oh, breakfast is the best meal of the day. Praise God. That's from their own medical perspective. I'm talking from spiritual perspective. If you want to engage God in a more meaningful relationship, live a fasted life. Okay, I am giving God my breakfast. Some of you will not eat in the morning, even in the afternoon. You would have forgotten for weeks, for days. Instead of starving yourself, why don't you cook? say, okay, I want to live a fasted life, God. My breakfast throughout this year, my breakfast for the next three months, I give it to you, God. And you say, okay, God, I want to live a faster life. I'm not going to sit on my, I'm not going to sleep on my bed for the next one month. God, I'm not going to watch TV for the next two months. That's how to fast. You sacrifice precious things that belong to you to him. Is somebody hearing me? And so, hello, somebody. So fasting enlarges your spiritual capacity. When I fast, that is when I receive more from God. If I'm not fasting, I receive from him as well. But when I fast, my spiritual antenna gets more sharpened. It's, it's much more easier to connect. And I know the same is applicable to many people. I've had many preachers said that before as well. And so engage your body in fasting. Fasting does not kill. It is feasting that kills. This year, deny yourself. You don't need to wait for special announcement from the altar before you fast this year. Am I talking to somebody? All the young folks in the house, all the mamas and all the papas, take time out this year to seek God. God, I want to know you. One of my dear brothers called me yesterday and he said, Pastor, God spoke to me that I, sh I should return back to my first love. And I said, thank you, Jesus. That has been one of my prayer points for you in the church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for you and I to return back to our first love. So this year, make sure you fast. And there's no way you will fast that the flesh will not be suppressed. And when the flesh is suppressed, sin will not entice you. You will look at sin like this, you will ignore it. And there's no way you will fast and you wouldn't want to pray. Is somebody hearing me? This will help your relationship with God this year. It will enlarge your spiritual capacity. Stop just eating and eating. You see this, you eat, you see that, you eat, you see that one, you eat, you eat everything that comes your way. And that is why many people eat poisons in the dream. Because there are so much impact with food in the physical. Is somebody hearing me, beloved? Okay, number three. What other areas do I need to sacrifice? I need to sacrifice in the area of serving. I need to serve him this year. Serve him this year. In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 12. I mean chapter 12 verse 11. The Bible says do not be slothful in business. But serving the Lord. Make up your mind this year. What do you do? What will you do for God? Look for avenues to serve him. What will I do for God? I just don't want to be coming to church. The protocol department is there. You are tall. You have body. You are huge. And thank God you don't have only body alone. You have engine too. Join the protocol department. You have stamina. You can stand for several months, several weeks, several days, several hours. You know how you stand when you go to your workplace. Join the ushering department. You know how to sing. Join the choir. You know some instrument. You know how to play some instrument. Join the choir. Papa was telling us sometimes ago, he said, people that serve God live long. Go check that secret. People that serve God lives long. So serve him this year. Join the sanctuary keepers, the greeters. Join the ushers. Join the transport department. People that are, you know, park in the parking lot, join them. Okay, if you don't want to do that, look for something you can do for God in his house. The Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Number, is it number three or number four? God bless you. Number four. Now, serve, I mean, sacrifice by engaging yourself in night prayers night prayers many of you don't pray in the night 
Pastor, I will not always be there for you, praying for you every now and then. No, Pastor, we always. Let me tell you a secret. Let me share this with you. All the prophets you call in Nigeria, in Syria alone, and you send money to them. Some of them don't have your time. I tell you. I tell you that's the truth. Some of them don't have your time. Except few. So it's better for you to develop yourself and then you know what you are doing. The ministers will not be there for you 24 hours. I'm not against you going for direction. I'm not against you going for prophetic instruction. That's not a big deal. But you relying on them that they will pray. Hey, Baba, hey, you will pray for me. Throughout tonight, you must pray. Uh, the Baba that has not even yet prayed for his own family. Praise God. One of my dear brothers in the Lord in Nigeria was sharing with us when he wanted to travel to Germany. They went to go and buy food, buy everything for this prophet. And the prophet said, don't worry, go. I will be fasting till I hear a phone, phone call from you. That you have landed safely in Germany. So when he got to the Muni Talama Airport together with his wife, they missed their flight. So they now wanted to go back home to go and tell Baba, Baba, we missed our flight. On getting to the house, they met Baba eating with big stout in front of him. <laughs> that Dickin. Okay, now, Brother Raji, you remember that Dickin that came that bought that first TV for us in the church? That Dickin that came, that's the man. And he said, they even didn't bother to say anything. They just said, ah, Baba. <laughs> and they turned back. <laughs> Case closed. My dear, Prayer of the night, even if you cannot pray more than 30 minutes, just wake up in the night and father in the name of Jesus. one of our fathers, Apostle Babalola, the founding father, the founder of this church, CAC Worldwide, said one prayer of the night is equivalent to three days dry fasting. There's no way you will do video, you will feel it in your body. It's equivalent to three days dry fasting. If you cannot fast very well, but if you know how to pray in the night, my dear, you've logged in. If you don't know how to fast very well, but you know how to pray in the night, oh, look, wah, in the middle of the night. Ah, heavens will stand at attention. That's a secret. Look at the secret of great men of God. All over the world, they settle it in the night. There are some cases you have to settle in the night, not in the day. Because distraction is too much in the day. And then the last one, you need to sacrifice your money. And that's what a lot of us don't usually want to hear. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. There's no way you will serve God without giving him your money. He's the one who provided it. How can you be hoarding God's money from him? God is saying, give me your tithe. You are trying to calculate it. God, you see, next week I will pay it. And in two weeks time, I'm, okay. And whereas the government take it directly from your account. There's nothing we can do about that. We just need to give him sacrificially. I'm not just giving him some loose change. God is not the beggar. He does not need your money to survive. You are the one that needs him. That's the blunt truth. This year, make up your mind to give him, to bless him. You don't need a special announcement for that. You don't need the pastor to know. So far, God knows. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So as we go this year, engage the force of obedience, engage the force of service, and engage the force of sacrifice. I'd like you to say it after me. Somebody say obedience. obedience. Somebody say service. service. Somebody say sacrifice. sacrifice. Say it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Say it to your neighbor. Somebody. Uh huh. Look at another neighbor on your back or in the front and say it again. God bless you. Rise to your feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'd like you to pray. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and say, Lord Jesus, help me to be a doer of your word. I receive grace to be obedient, to serve, and to give my life and everything that belongs to me as a living sacrifice. Go ahead and talk to God, somebody. Go ahead and talk to God. Thank you, faithful God.
In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you for your word. We give you praise for opening our eyes once again this morning. We receive grace to be obedient. We receive grace to serve you. And we receive grace to sacrifice for you. Lord, let this grace be ours in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of disobedience that wants to destroy your life, I cause them in your life in the name of Jesus. The unflinching grace to serve him and to sacrifice. If your amen is louder than your neighbor, receive it now. So shall it be in Jesus' name. And let the people of God shout a better amen.